that last video I did of the 155 wasn't very good. I don't know what I was doing, but um, since then, uh, I swapped out the, the flight controller. Um, there was no need to, but I thought I would try out the uh, Malta Rotor Mania Mantis, which is a F3. And um, I haven't flown it yet since I swapped it because it's been raining. It was pouring down yesterday. I did it yesterday morning and um, I couldn't fly all day and it was just the most horrible thing. I can't stand it when it rains. Um, yeah, I have quads to fly indoors, but it's just not the same. So I got the Mantis on here. Um, I'm not sure how much different it's going to be. Damn, those LEDs are bright as hell. Um, but I'm sure it'll probably fly better than it did. I did bump up the uh, gyro and PID loop to um, 4 and 2. So normally on an F1 flight controller, I would have them at 2 and 1. And sometimes 2 and 2. Depending on what other stuff I'm using to uh, not put too much load on the CPU. Because you want it to be running around like between 15 and 20% CPU load. So when you got an F3, you can bump it up to 4 and 2 if you're running angle or horizon and 8 and 4 if you're only running acro. And it'll fly amazing on 8 and 4. So there's quite a bit of difference between the F3 and F1 board if you have been flying for a while. If, if you're new to the game, then you're probably not going to notice much difference. But anyway, so let's um, take it outside and see what it can do. I'm going to go outside for a second. I'll be right back. What? Okay, but you got to sit down on the porch. Or just stay up on the porch, okay? Nope, nope, get back. Okay, let's go. You're going in the house then. No. Then get up on the porch. You don't go near my airplane, okay? You know that. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. That was so awesome. Look how smooth it's flying. It's so awesome. I don't have the rates set up high enough right now. This is pretty much my first flight of this. So. <clears throat> That's just so awesome though. Wow. <laughs> so I did put the V2 props on. Um, those bullnose just weren't working on this either. Um, I know I said before that these 
these when I was running these motors on my multi rotor Mania 180, um, I used the Dow 4045 Bullnose and they were just perfect, awesome, awesome prop. But on here, they just weren't. I don't know, it just wasn't working. So I put the V2s on and now it's just awesome. So just something you got to do, you know, after you're done building, you do your fine tuning and you, you got to try out different props to find the best prop for the motor and frame combo you got, you know, the weight and all that. So the V2s have been working out great for me on a few different quads. So I highly recommend these props. Um, I haven't tried out any racecraft props yet. Um, I know at first they just had the five inch, but now they have all kinds of props. They got three inch, four blade, and everything, four inch. And so I'm going to have to try some of those out too. But as of right now, these are my favorite prop. They're awesome. But so yeah, this 155 is just amazing now. It's just, it's, <laughs> it's so awesome. It's so small and it's really stiff. So it's not going to break easy. And, and like I've said before, I mean, if it does, you got a free frame coming to you, you know, that lifetime warranty from Armacan. So yeah, I can't wait to do some FPV with this. And uh, I might even be able to make a mount up here for my run cam. I don't know, I'll have to see what's out there, see what I can make. So anyway, there it is, 155 with some 1806 2700 KVs, the Dow V2s, Tattoo 1054S, badass.